know the kinky origins of witches riding broomsticks. This myth dates all the way back to the 14th century, and it is anything but innocent. During the Middle Ages, Europeans discovered the hallucinogenic properties of the fungus ergot, leading to an affliction of dancing mania, with people dancing through the streets, speaking nonsense, and experiencing hallucinations. To ensure maximum trippy experience, people had to consume this brew through the most receptive areas of their body. This is how the witch's brew came about, inserted most commonly via the handle of a broomstick. Here's a writing from the 15th century. The vulgar believe and the witches confess that on certain days or night they anoint a staff and ride on it to the appointed place or anoint themselves under the arms and in other hairy places. And the story gets even crazier. Now for a lot of this time in Europe, bedroom toys were largely sold at markets. But come 1670, their sale was banned as they became linked to the fear of emasculation. And so women began taking matters into their own hands. In fact, it became such a common practice for women to create their own toys that it became a punishable offence. However, they continued to make them, most commonly out of the handles of broomsticks. As one police report from the Times states, this fashionable vice has consumed more broom handles in the Paris area than are strictly required for cleaning purposes. If anyone gets mad at you for wearing a slutty witch costume this Halloween, Tell them it's historically accurate. And if you enjoyed this lesson, you can now pre-order my book, Kinky History Worldwide. And if you're in Australia, join us for some of our launch events over the next two weeks.